All right, so we are here, AHR 2023 uh, in Atlanta, and I'm here with my good friend Mike Pastorello from Refrigeration Technologies and Viper. Thanks for joining us, Mike. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So uh, this product is one that I'm super excited about. I, I had the privilege of putting hands on it like way, way, way before uh, it's, it's, it's public release. And I was just waiting to be able to talk about it. So this is pretty cool to be able to talk about it here. Yeah, so, so just show it to everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. And um, so this is the Wet Rag Heat Shield Correct. from Refrigeration Technologies Viper Brand. So tell us all about it. Yeah, so just a little background on this. This was actually our original idea before we came out with Wet Rag, to be honest with you. I was okay. researching welding products and fabrics. So we looked at um, the fabrics that firefighter outfits were made of yeah. and all sorts of different things. And we got a bunch of samples in and they were okay, but they weren't great. And right. then I stumbled upon ceramics, and that's what made wet rag was all these these fine ceramic fibers. Yeah. Um, so we ended up going with wet rag, and that was fantastic. And um, we've had some great success with it. So we thought, uh, you know, let's revisit this this welding heat shield uh, again because uh, we've created a good market for the Viper yep. product. Yep. So um, I ended up uh, finding a few textile mills that make these high temperature carbon fabrics, and we ended up getting a few swatches. And, you know, the test is you put a brazen torch up to it and see what it does. And yep. this thing uh, performed really, really good. So um, we ended up building a relationship with this textile mill and uh, we're able to get these these fabrics in these big giant rolls yep. sent to us and um, make this product. So it's a very special carbon fabric and we've double layered it. So you're going to have two pieces, whereas opposed to others, you're going to have one piece. So you have yep. a little added protection. Um, and then we also source this great um, Teflon coated fiberglass thread. It's uh, good for uh, well over a thousand degrees. So right. it's not just a regular, you know, thread you can go down to your local store to get. So, um, yeah, and this is it here. I would yeah. Um, we did a, nobody can hear me because I'm not with the microphone, but we did a video on our YouTube channel that shows this. I'm just going to leave this up here. Um, shows this product in use. But what's really cool about it, a lot of the other shields, um, some of the kind of fiberglass type of stuff, um, if you have your flame right on it for an extended period of time, it still kind of recedes on you. And obviously, Correct. everything has a temperature limit, but they were actually taking this at their booth and putting a penny on top of it and basically just melting the penny, just destroying it. And it's still really uh, the, the heat shield came away unscathed, which is pretty Right. Cool. And there's some good fiberglass heat shields out there that are great for certain uh, aspects, but we really want technicians to get in this with flame and get right. it close to everything. Um, so we, we constructed this. Um, got very lucky that this material is also absorbent so yeah. you can get this thing wet uh, you can soak it and it's going to retain water it's not going to drip all over the place which is great so that's going to increase the temperature you can get a torch on this right and um uh, ex extend the longevity of the product as well so and if it gets a little funky uh, you can machine wash this and machine dry it as well so yeah, the machine washability is is awesome yep we actually used it replacing an evaporator coil uh inside the house and that's where you know you got surfaces that are around a lot of times when you're brazing up against an air handler panel um, or a case coil panel, you've got your stub coming out and you don't have a lot of space. Uh, right. We also used it around a line dryer. Um, even around a line dryer, sometimes, you know, there may be some other wires around or whatever, and this kind of covers all that. There's still a uh, real opportunity to use wet rag, the sure. traditional wet rag to pack it around in tight areas. But for this, you get the advantage of being able to get really close, but also protecting surfaces around the area. It just gives you a much larger area. Correct. Because, you know, if you get a, the flame off for a second, you could, you know, uh, torch some armacell, you yeah. know, get some paint off somewhere. So it's, yeah. it's, it's cheap insurance for sure. Yeah. 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 I, I like it for that reason. Also, you know, I'm a big fan of aerocetylene for a lot of technicians, kind of mm -hmm. the, the swirl tip or turbo torch style tip. Uh, and those are nice, but they do project a lot more convective heat. So for techs, who are used to using an oxyacetylene torch, it's a very small tip and it kind of gets in there, but a lot of newer techs find that it's easier to use aerocetylene. This is great for that because it helps block that convective heat that's coming off the back. Just like what Mike was showing earlier, he actually uh, melted the penny on top and then immediately took the shield and put it on his hand. And so it does help protect from that radiance convection. That exactly, so we get that penny that melts at just over a thousand degrees and put our hand right on the back. It's a little bit warm, but it's not hot, not gonna burn you. And then you have this molten metal that's kind of rolling around on this pad and it doesn't leave any damage to this pad. So yep. it, basically the metal rolls right off and you have this nice virgin pad that's left for you, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, Refrigeration Technologies has just so many kind of fundamentally sound products. One of the ones that I haven't talked a lot about, but I thought was really cool, and we, we don't have it here, but is the, is the wipes. Yes. Um, so you're doing a great, they're doing a great demo. They're showing it. You can find it on social media, on their social media platforms. It, it shows the same thing. But something as simple as wipes, you don't think of like, all right, 
you know, a lot of people, they see it and think, oh, it's just for cleaning up a little mess. But you, you do some pretty amazing stuff with it in terms of like the sorts of soil that you can get up. Yeah. So we're doing demos today that show um, removing paint, removing nail polish, magic marker um, and grease, uh, which is easy for us to do here because they're all kind of basic materials. But we've had guys dip their hands in mastic mm -hmm. and uh, uh, remove it from their hands. And uh, my favorite is we have the Nylog machine right. right next to the wipes on purpose because everybody wants to stick their hands in Nylog. And that's an easy way to get off. That's how we get rid of Nylog at the office is uh, with the wipes. Right. So um, I think another a good added benefit of the wipes as well is uh, a lot of the wipes uh, will leave your hands cracking and dry. But we put four different types of moisturizers in there. So we have glycerin, aloe, vitamin E, and uh, lanolin. Yeah. So you're going to have some protecting agents in there as well. So. Yeah. I just also want to take this opportunity while we're here on this video just to thank you for your support of the industry. I mean, you guys supported HVAC Tactical and their event that they did, which was really a great thing. A lot of like our tech Corey uh, was there. He's bad, a, bad TXV on um, TikTok, right, Corey? I was I was like to give you a call out whenever you're yeah, right? bad TXV on TikTok. Uh, he uh, was able to give out an award there at the event. You guys supported that. You guys have supported the symposium. Um, so many different creators and uh, influencers you guys are always interacting with on social media. So I, I just wanted to tell you in person, I really appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of brands who, even much bigger brands in the chemical space, who don't take that same uh, approach uh, and who are really just kind of often just defending a piece of turf. But you are, you've are you always been really giving to the uh, community, and I really appreciate that. Well, thank you. I mean, we have a very similar slogan as you, I and mean, we're all techs. Right. You know, we were all techs before we were lucky enough that uh, we came out with some unique items that we're able to get into the market and continue to do that. So, you know, we stick true to our roots and yeah. uh, we're always there to help. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of, been able to have a lot of positive side conversations just talking about running businesses that are legacy businesses where we build good things that provide a, a good service. And yeah, we all, we all want to make money doing it. We have to make a right. living doing it, but um, I think it's awesome what you guys do. And I just encourage everybody to support these guys, follow them on social media, um, share about them with your friends. And also, if you're in distribution, so you're at the supply house, this is something a lot of people don't think about, and we've talked about this before, but if you're in a supply house and you don't see heat shield there, you don't see wet rag there, you don't see the venom packs there, um, ask for them. A lot of cases, it just takes a couple conversations and they can bring it in for you and your company. Uh, and now it's actually something that other people can also experience because they're just good, safe, quality products that really more people really should be using and should know about. In yeah, most of the wholesalers sometimes don't want to move on a product until they get that generation. Yeah, yeah. So um, we rely a lot on the technicians to go out there and, and ask and, you know, continue to ask. So um, I would empower you that if you do like something from us or could be another company, yeah, you know, anyway, continue yeah. to ask your, your local branches, your managers, your territory managers, and, you know, it's their job to do the work to get that product in for you. Yeah. And, and often th there may be the kind of that initial resistance of like, well, we don't have it, but trust me, they can get it. Um, Correct. It's always buy this instead yeah, but uh exactly. you know yeah. if you're really adamant about something and and with refrigeration technology we have a very consolidated line we don't do a thousand items we just do yeah. 40 to 50 great items yeah. so uh, whatever we put out there we spent a lot of time on this pad was was a year and a half i think we sent you like a, a pre-production sample right. like a year ago yeah yeah, yeah. uh until yeah. we could find the thread because yeah. the thread was burning so i had to it took a while to source this thread and yeah. i gotta give it to my i gotta give a shout out to my wife because um my wife has a degree in fashion and marketing design. Okay, so nice. be, prior to having kids, and we have young kids, so she's still at home. Uh, she worked in the fashion industry and out out in Los Angeles. Okay. So uh, after I found the, the the fabric, I said I need a sewer. I need a pattern maker. I have no idea where to look. So yeah. she picked up her phone and started going through things. Said, oh, I got this guy, this guy, this guy. Made calls, and I think the next week I had someone at the office saying, "Sure, no problem. I can do that." <laughs> You know, awesome. we need to do this type of stitch. We need to do this. We need to fold this over. So, yeah, um, it was great to involve her. Yeah. No, yeah. I, you and I have that also in common of like it's a true family business. Like right. refrigeration technologies is this true family business. And that's the same with me and my business. Um, you know, my, my wife helps me so many things, all, all the family members. It's really cool to see that. And it's a it's a business worth supporting. I'm glad that you guys have kept it kept it in the family. You know, you haven't. You haven't sold out. You're still you're still who you are. We're having you have way too much soul. fun. I know you guys just have a blast yeah. at what you're doing, and and that's uh, I think that's really cool that you do that. So thank you again. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And for everybody out there who isn't familiar, you can go to refrigetech.com in order to find out more about all their products. And uh, the Pastorellas are great people. Support them on social media. Follow them everywhere you are. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for joining, Mike. All right.